a female in her 50s presents with a six week history of cough and has a PA chest x ray. What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. Now, this x ray isn't quite normal. Hopefully, you've spotted an abnormality in the hilar region. Now, one thing to compare is the density of each hilum. If we compare the right to the left, we can see the right is more dense. But don't stop there. Also, assess the morphology of each hilum. On the left, we can see tapering branching vessels. Whilst on the right, we can't really see that. Increased density plus this abnormal morphology suggests there is soft tissue in this region to account for it. This means we're either dealing with an underlying lung cancer or enlarged lymph nodes. Now, if you look past the hilum, you'll see there's an outline of something overlying it. See how this contour is separate to the hilum and you can also make out the hilum separate to this. This suggests there is a second pathology either lying anterior or posterior to the hilum. Now this could represent infective consolidation, although we can't see air bronchograms and it is very well defined. In the context of the possible hilar node enlargement, we need to be thinking about a primary lung cancer with nodal disease at the hilum. This was raised by the reporting radiologists and unfortunately in the UK we don't get a lot of lateral chest x-rays which may have helped. So let's have a look at the CT scan. Firstly we can see there are nodes at the right hilum that accounts for the increase in density and abnormal morphology here. Secondly, have a look at this. We've got a mass posterior to the hilum as suggested on the chest x-ray. Sometimes pneumonia can appear like this, however again we don't have the typical air bronchograms within this area. Given the clinical suspicion, a PET CT was performed which showed FDG avidity within the right lower lobe lung lesion as well as within the right sided hilar nodes. Look at this area with absent uptake, this likely represents central necrosis within the tumour. To confirm the diagnosis, a biopsy is needed. Given the central necrosis on the PET-CT, it's important to try and sample the periphery of the lesion in this case. And CT-guided biopsy confirmed the diagnosis of right-sided lung adenocarcinoma. This case is all about assessing those hilar regions. Cases can be more subtle than this, so make sure you compare the density of each side and look at the morphology. And look carefully for anything that could be overlying the hilum on either side.